Well, Liam, I guess a frustrating day for you today. How on earth did you not get a winning goal this afternoon, though? Yeah, those games come around sometimes, don't they? Uh, you know, all the anticipation of having the supporters back in, it was all set up nicely to uh, to come get the three points today and uh, very resilient, possibly a little bit lucky in stages, uh, walk inside that have delivered a performance and you know, at the end of the day we've got to be looking at, at getting that sort of result over the line. They're never easy on paper anyway, but you know, within the game we, we probably, a few of us tried to do probably a bit too much in certain areas and you know, when we simplified the game a bit more, we saw that you know, especially the second half was sort of a completely different game, and it was a case of you know when it was going to go in rather than if, and just those little bits of the touches at the end, there's a bar or clearances, you know, just wouldn't fall or go in. So you know, it would have been nice to, to celebrate with the fans and get a three points, because um, you know, honestly, the atmosphere was, was incredible when we walked out. So uh, you know, applaud that. Uh, that's only you know a certain number of people, so you know when it's full, it's going to be uh, it's going to be buzzing. But um, but yeah, I think there's a sense of disappointment. You know, there's a, there's a bigger picture at play still as well, and we've got to use that. Um, the last three games have been really tough in terms of the different sort of challenges we've had to face. Um, and, you know, in a one-off game in a playoff, you know that's going to suit us instead of you know learning. You know, because like you say, if you don't win, that you're going to learn. So um, the overriding feeling is obviously disappointment that we've not. You know, put that one to bed, but you know, give them a little bit of credit for, for riding the luck and doing what they did and making a game of it. I guess this is when people like yourself, you've got a key role to play now, Liam, having seen it and done it all before, of course. Captain Salford to back to back promotions, and the lads can feed off that, that experience that you've got. Yeah, it's just about staying, like we've talked about in there, just staying in the moment. Yeah, yeah. we want to pick the, as many points as we can in the league, but you know, we, we know that the, the playoff is secure. Um, we were speaking about there's some big sides in this league that haven't actually consolidated their playoffs place yet, and it just is how tough that sort of bunch is. Um, you know, when it'd be important now that we, we have a good week and we, you know, we, we do the right things to get down to Yeovil and hopefully turn something into a positive result there to, to take into those. But um, like I said, whatever the outcome is going to be today, we know that that you know the playoffs there and at the start of the season, the the chance to compete to, to get out of this league was what we wanted. That was the aim. Um, and we're there at the minute, so you know whether it'll be three games, two games, you know, it's going to be a case of once we, we get this overlap game out of the way of prepping in the right manner for whichever game it's going to be. So um, I know there's a result tomorrow to happen, but um, you know it keeps us sort of um, hungry and it keeps us. Yeah, like I said, in the moment to go now to Yeovil and really give it a good go and get the points. And Yeovil will be your 50th appearance, I believe, for Stockport County. So you've racked up a, a good number already this season. Yeah, no, it's been a pleasure. I've really enjoyed the new challenge of coming here, and obviously it was a bit short-lived last season, a bit gutted because, like I mentioned today, you know, I got a good taste of what the, the club is and where it's going to go, and um, it, was, it was a shame that. So just to start and, and sort of contribute this year of, of how it's been, then you know. I've been happy so far, but you know there's a job still to do. Uh, and like I said, now we've got the, the fans; we can all do it together. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be exciting times the next couple of weeks. How has it been playing inside an empty stadium? And I, I guess the bigger the stadium, like this one, the more eerie it it is for you. It's probably been a bit, a bit easier to communicate to, really? to the players without um, the fans. Without yeah. the fans, yeah. in terms of you know, some of the noise has been great today. <laughs> um, but you have to shout a little bit louder to get your message across. And um, oh, I just think. There are areas of, of pressure that we put on them. It worries teams, you yeah. know. Even if it's a corner, even if it's a throw-in, you know, you build up a bit more of what the actual moment really is. You know, if we was on the opposite side and we was conceding corners and throw-ins and things, we, you know, we were quite relaxed about the thing. And just when the fans get behind the stand, it sort of, you know, clearances start getting mixed and messed, and, and uh, it sort of sucks the ball to the goal. Obviously, not today. It wasn't to be, and. Uh, you know, like I said, it would have been nice to cap that off and reward the, the you know, the fans that did get in. But, um, but uh, you know, as a footballer, you need the fans. It's what makes the game. You know, we've watched the last few on on the telly, and it just makes just a massive, massive difference. And uh, you know, being in the moment and being, you know, the fans being able to share that with you, it's great. Because, like I said, we are at, at one big club and we're all together. So. Hopefully we can we can get over this line in the next few few fixtures. I think watch the Sutton game tomorrow, then a, a good week of training, and then Yeovil away at the weekend, and uh, uh, that'll be an interesting contest. Darren Sales teams are always difficult to beat, aren't they? Yeah, that's probably been a couple of our tougher games, especially in the uh, in the cup where mm. um, they, they were sort of on the back of not so good results then, and they just 
you know what they are and, and they'll, they'll compete, they'll battle and they have got little bits of quality. They've got some, yeah. at one point, the, the striking line that they had against us was, you know, some top league league strikers. So, yeah. you know, it's one that we need to prep for, right, as we always do. Um, and just keep the confidence, yeah. keep calm, keep the composure. And like I said, there's a bigger picture to play here and, and, you know, we need to be in the right sort of mindset and, and best possible, you know, physical mental state to, to go into those those playoffs where you know they are very demanding um, you know you see in other playoff circumstances it's over two legs and you know this is just over one so you know they are really difficult but, but there's some good experience within our squad mixed with you know some of the youth and energy that we've got that you know uh, a lot of teams will, will, will not want to play us anyway it's always good to talk to you Liam thanks, thanks for your John. time see you now. thanks Top guys